Welcome to Violin Adventures number 153. We'll jump right into the work where we're working on our diamond in the rough. We're working on the green fiddle and carving a new cello. Hope you enjoy. We're back to the diamond in the rough. We can't forget we need to put a bass bar in here. So I've gone to the wood room and picked out a really nice piece, old piece of spruce. We're going to split this off and get us a nice bass bar. We're ready to get a bass bar on. So this has been fitted but not shaped yet. There's our diamond in the rough. I always love the look of the old wooden clamps on an old instrument. So we'll let that dry for 24 hours and we'll proceed with this diamond in the rough. We're starting to work on the Burton Green violin. We're going to start with a bridge blank, fit the feet, and then tune the bridge, fit the height. So I like to shape the bridge to the fingerboard and this fingerboard is very flat and is actually at the wrong angle. But one thing we have to change is he glued in or somebody glued in the end button. We need to get this out. We got a good hole started, and I think what I'll do is I'm going to pick out the rest of the hole. Okay, here we are, the diamond in the rough. We've got our base bar drying, and now we need to get a upper block for the back here. I got a nice old piece of spruce here, just about the right size. I'm going to cut out a little piece of this. Okay, here we go. Cut out a little piece. We'll start fitting this here to this old violin so it has a nice strong block. Back to the green violin. Uh, working on the bridge, I noticed that the fingerboard is warped in the wrong direction. After talking with the owner of this violin, so we decided since I needed to order that and I don't want to finish the bridge until I get the new fingerboard on, we decided to go ahead and open up this violin because we can improve the sound we know by just doing a couple changes on the inside. So here we go, we're opening the violin. Well, I finally got the top loosened up. Let's look inside together. We definitely can improve the base bar, so I'm glad we opened it up. And here on the inside of the violin, everything looks good. We have nice big blocks in the corner. That's a good thing. So we're going to set this aside and get started on the top. Okay, I've been doing some work on this top and I think it's got a really nice good tone now. Then we'll be ready to put in a new bass bar. So here I'll tap it so you can hear it. So we've got some tone coming out and now with a new bass bar that should help um, give it some more power and fullness. So let's go into the wood room and see what we can find. You know, from working on this uh, Diamond in the Rough violin, I had cut out a beautiful piece of spruce for this base bar, and I think I'm going to use the other half for this one over here. This is a really nice piece of wood. Okay, here we are at the Diamond in the Rough. And these 
clamps have been on here for 24 hours. I need to take them off so that I can use them on the green violin repair. So this base bar is ready to be taken down, but I'm gonna wait on that right now so that we can get more work done on our green repair. Okay, we're ready to put the base bar in the green violin. Okay, we're back at our special fiddle here and we need to get the clamps off and take this base bar down, tune it up and see if we can bring out a beautiful full tone. Okay, the new fingerboard came already. That was really fast. I won't be putting the fingerboard on until we get the violin closed up. So I'm gonna set that aside. But at this point, we have the new bass bar in. It's all nice. We've okay, while the glue is still hot, I'm coming over here to the Diamond in the Rough violin and I've been working for quite a while trying to make this upper block fit up here. And this area was not flat. If you remember when I got the violin, there wasn't even an, an upper block up there because clearly it fell out. And this is where you really need to have full contact up here because this is supporting so much, so much of the weight of the violin. All right, the upper block is in. So what do we do next? I think while bass bar is drying in our other violin, our upper block is drying in this violin, then what's next but to shape this uh, bass bar? So that's what we'll do next. Okay, we've shaped the base bar. It's got good ringing, so I'm gonna clean this up. And after this upper block dries, it looks like we can put a label in and close it up. Remember what the little four-year-old called these? She came by and she called them Wiggles. Okay, we've got the top finished with the base bar in. It has a nice ringing tone. The back is in, we've got our label in, so it's time to close up this diamond in the rough. Gotta take off these clamps from our diamond in the rough so that, so that we can close up the green fiddle. The diamond in the rough is finally closed up. And next week we will work on getting on a new fingerboard and setting the neck. Okay, here we are at the green fiddle. And 
last night I went ahead and took the old fingerboard off which had a little warp in it and I also took the neck out because the neck was also at the wrong angle we've also got the new fingerboard that came in so next week we'll be attaching the new fingerboard and maybe making some adjustment to the thickness of the neck before we install it on the violin. But right now, we're gonna go ahead and close up this. Here's our top. It is still very thick. Still got a good tone. Let's see where we're at. Okay, in the middle we're at 18 and we need to go down to 7. We're pretty much, we need to go down at least 10 millimeters more. Freddie wants to chat. Hi, hi, hi everyone, hi, I'm Freddie, and I got a lot of, I got a lot of information to share with everybody because I, I got a lot of footage and pictures, so here we go. The first one is, this is an old viola that somebody found. Oh, this is an old viola, you gotta see this, wow. This was sent in from Lorenzo. He's writing from Spain, even though he's Italian. This is a viola that he got for his daughter, and he took it to a professional luthier, but they said it was not worth restoring. So he decided he would work on it himself. When he opened the top plate, everything was falling apart. There was wood dust everywhere and holes all over. Some of it was closed up with cement. He started digging out and cleaning the worm tunnels. So this is an awesome project you're working on, Lorenzo, and I wish you all the best. Wasn't that something? Those worms are causing a lot of trouble. Okay, the next one is a big old bass. And when I get big, I'm going to play bass like this. These are pictures of a double bass that Johnny sent in to us. He is working on repairing this old Italian that was badly refinished. He wants to remove the excessive gloss and get down to the original varnish. We wish you all the best on this project too. These are great projects you all are working on. That's a big project. And the next one is my grandpa. He got into the bees again this week. Yeah. They're doing a really, really good job on this first layer. And I'm throwing this in for fun. This is on the hill across from our street. We looked way up there and we saw two birds. Yeah, those bees are really busy. And this is from my friend, Thomas Pinch. And he plays over there in, in another country, over there near England. Well, anyway, I'll let you hear him play. Here it goes. This tune is found in many hymn books and goes to When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. It was originally a folk song from Scotland and is played on a little organ at Crake.
Well, thank you everybody for sending in your projects. And I know there's more projects out there that you guys are going to send in. And I'm so happy. Thank you for sending them in. And, and we'll see you next time. Bye. The Hebrew Minute. Chitzku v'yamet levavachem kol ham yechalim lahashem. Be of good courage, and he will strengthen your heart, all ye who hope in the Lord. If you know where this is found, please leave it in the comments below. Well, here it is Friday afternoon. Look at those gorgeous clouds. And over there, the sun is coming through. Friday afternoon, beautiful, balmy day. Let's go in and see what's happening in the shop. Here we are in the violin shop. It's been a very busy week, and all the work has come to a stop. So here we have the green fiddle all closed up, and next week we'll start working on the new fingerboard here and the neck. Here we have our diamond in the rough. We just closed it up and we'll be working on getting a new fingerboard and setting the neck. But we may put this one on hold just a little bit so, so that we can hopefully finish up the green fiddle. Over here we have our Appalachian growing mountain and our cello top. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for all your thumbs up and thank you for commenting in the comment section. And onwards and upwards. Until next time, God bless you. Bye.